Hi there everyone. Today we're going to have a look at something quite exciting that gives a little bit more of a visual impact to our databases, especially from the user end. We're going to have a look at inserting images into a database. First of all, in order to be able to have the images there, our table needs to actually have a field that will store the images. We don't really get to see the table, or we don't really get to see the images in our table. So again, it makes very good reason for us to actually present a form for the people that are going to be using our table. We're going to be working in a, in a database called Herbs, and the only table that exists there at the moment is Info on Herbs. So we need to go and create this field that will store pictures um, in our table, and to do that, we need to open our table in Design View. Now, there are two ways to do that. I'm going to quickly run through how we can do it in both ways. Firstly, we can double click on the actual table. It opens the table and using our um, ribbon icon, we can go to design view. Alternatively, and possibly a quicker way to do it is we can right click on the table and the pop up menu there allows us to open it directly in design view. Right, so the design view shows the structure of our table, shows the fields that we've got, as well as the data types that we've selected for that. I've created a picture field, as you can see over there, but the picture field at the moment currently is of type short text. As I've said, we don't want this to be of short text. We have to have a particular field type that allows us to store images. And in Microsoft Access, that field type is of OLE object. Right, you don't need to know what the OLE stands for. You simply have to know that if you're being asked to insert a picture, you need to actually use the data type OLE object. In order to get the listing of the different types that's available, we click on our down arrow in our data type, and you'll see just below halfway down, we have the OLE object. We're going to select that for my table so that I can now insert images in there. And I'm going to go back to data sheet view because now I'm ready to go and enter the values in there. As I go back to data sheet, it asks me to save the table. We click on yes because we want those changes. And that over there is where we're now going to insert our images. Right. Now, you'll see that there's nothing displayed in that field. That's because we haven't associated an image with each record yet. In order to do that, I'm going to right click on the cell that I want it. Okay. And it gives me the option to insert an object. I will choose that to insert the object. And the objects are going to be images, bitmap images, so BMP files, JPEG files, and any other different format of pictures are not going to show up in the desired way. Okay, so they have to be converted to bitmap images. I recommend that you actually have the image already and you can actually save it, but you do have the option of creating an image yourself. I have already saved them, so I'm going to go quickly and look for the ones where I've saved that I have. And we see that the botanical name here is the Allium, Allium sativum, and that is the image that I want to insert. So I select the image, I click on OK, I'm happy that that's the file that I want, and I click on OK again. The image has not appeared in my table. It simply says paintbrush picture. Now the reason for that is that your database tables, your access tables, have not been designed in a way to be able to display images and pictures. Again, a very important reason why, as the designer and the creator, it is a good idea for us to create forms 
that the user can see the image as well. In order for us to actually see the image, we do need to, first of all, close the table, because that's now going to create the saving of the table. Okay, And then we're going to go and create a form using the form wizard. So in the form wizard, I'm going to display the botanical name, the common name, and of course, I want to display the picture. Click on next, happy for uh, columna layout. Click on next again. Yes, I do want to open the form. I do want to see if it's been successful to show the image. Click on finish. And my form appears with the image of that I've linked to that. If I move on to the next record, you'll see that the place where the picture is, is blank. And that is simply because I haven't even inserted a picture there into that cell yet. Okay, so the only one I have inserted is there. And that is how we go about inserting a picture into our forms.